Very, very special cue made by the world famous RB himself. That's right, Richard Black, the Hall of Fame master level cue maker from the great state of Texas. And that is exactly what this beautiful creation right here depicts. There you go. I'm going to read directly from the LOA that comes with this cue. You may have seen me post this before. We have just done a really, really, really special price on this cue. And it is a must have for any collector of Richard Black cues or for just fine pool cues in general. It is a extremely special cue. So let me just read briefly from here. This is from the Lone Star Collection. The Lone Star Collection by Richard Black. Constructed from a solid piece of highly figured bobinga. This cue is inlaid with several emblems depicting the development of the Republic, then state of Texas. At the butt plate of the cue is a copper star with a normal ring around it. You can see right there that copper looks really, really, really nice with that Babinga. And it's in, there's engraving of the facets of the star. On the opposite side from the star is an ivory inlay of the Alamo. So it does have ivory in it. This cue was made a very long time ago. Obviously there's no overseas shipping, but look at the size of that right there within itself. There's the Alamo for you. And that has been scrimshawed says right here in the LOA, the engraving and scrimshaw was all done by Richard Black. This is a very rare bird right here. Again, a must have for any collector of fine cues. The wrap area, this is my favorite, the wrap area is inlaid with sterling silver in the form of barbed wire. It required 171 inlays to do this fourth access wrap all the way around. The barbed wire is a pattern it is a John Gillian pattern from the 1880s. Come on, somebody. Look at that. I mean, there's so much intricate and in-depth work in this thing. It's unbelievable, especially for the price that I have it reduced to right now. This cue originally, as the LOA reads here, originally came with a Ron Thomas case. Uh, there is no case with the cue. This is the way that the cue came in. But again, we are selling it at a significant discount. In the nose area is an ebony inlay of an oil derrick, a longhorn steer, and a silver inlay of the Rockin' RB brand. So there's the steer right there you can see. I'm trying to give you guys where you can see it without the glare and all that. Look at that right there. The Rockin' RB brand right there. And then there's the other part right there that he speaks about in the LOA. The joint is done in black phenolic, and the collar rings are inlaid with six sterling silver stars to de depict the six flags flown over Texas. Boy, this is like, you could just call this thing the All-American Q right here, baby. All-American. Somebody in Texas needs to grab this thing right here. This thing needs to be, like, displayed somewhere in a Q case. There is a custom joint cap protector, again, with the six silver stars and on the top of the cap is a miniature charm of the San Jacinto Monument. Jacinto, I apologize about my pronunciation. The cue is signed by Black at the front of the wrap area and it is also assigned the collector number 16 slash 2007 to signify that it was the 16th collectible cue he made in 2007. Look at that. November 1st of 07. It's got Richard Black's writing right there on it just doesn't get any better than this great offer right here i love that babinga look it's it's actually a new cue but because it's of the age of it it came out of a high-end collection this actually came out of the prestigious price collection by our good friend bob price down in florida there's a few little marks here and there like you got a little bit of a mark right here on the top no big deal and then uh the joint on the shafts right there you've got some marks in the phenolic right there I actually think that would probably clean up. It could use maybe a little bit of buffing right in there. I'm just showing you guys because we are full transparency. I've taken all this into account. 
with the price, just a few little marks on the shaft connections right there that could easily be taken care of, but the butt rolls nice and straight. A couple little tiny marks at the bottom of the butt right there. Other than that though, it is in really, really good condition. It's actually a brand new cue, but again, it came out of a collection where it got moved around. This cue has been displayed at shows, so you've got a few you know, minor marks here and there, but no dents, no dings. Somebody needs to jump on this offer if you would also like to finance it. We have financing available on our website, crossroadcues.com. Beautiful, beautiful cue made by the legendary cue maker himself, the master from Texas, Mr. Richard Black, the Lone Star Collection, available at crossroadcues.com.